Well, hello guys, welcome back. I think I'm about to die in about an hour, two hours. Um, I turned to God down. I said, no. I said, you've tried all this stuff. You show me all this stuff. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't work together. Here's evidence, empirical evidence from the interwebs of what your people really like. And I'm not like this. I'm not straight. I'm not heathen. I really like that game where we go to the gentleman's club. I'm like, I'm not one of yours. Your people are a certain way. I'm not one of your people. It was really nice for you to come in and give me a interview or whatever you want to call it, but I'm not yours. So Odin is not too pleased with me, but I think he accepts it for what it is. I said, if there's one god that I resemble, it's Dionysus. Because I could conceivably live in that club. And it wouldn't just be to look at the females. It would be to soak up the atmosphere and to eat and drink and be merry. And who the hell does this sound like? This sounds like Dionysus. And the thing is, he's very hated in the heathen community. They think he's everything a god shouldn't be because they see him as a effeminate sissy. Which means they haven't really studied him, but, you know, more Dionysus and call girls for me. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and that's the thing. He's a god that looks after prostitutes. He would look after dancers. He would work at, look after, obviously, anyone that works in any kind of adult industry. That's a god I can relate to because he has sympathy for people that are open about their sexuality, whatever it is, and he will protect and love and nurture those people. He doesn't judge people for things like that. Um, and there's just this racist, homophobic undercurrent in a lot of teachings on Odin that just totally turn me off. Where teachings of Dionysus are, you haven't done anything until you've seen my Tumblr, and you see the Tumblr, and you're like, I didn't know a human body could do that. Wow! Learning! And Dionysus in the back, really pleased. And, you know, I think that's what it is. Sometimes we have to tell God no, because Odin's never going to be a friend of the gay community. He can do all he wants, but I'm never going to trust him. He can do... I know I said I trust him. I mean, like, I trust him not to kill me or anything, but I'm never going to trust him to have my back like Dionysus would. Um, and he's never going to be, even though he was asking for very random strange shit on his Pinterest and being very warm and sweet, I can't see him that way, and I'm not comfortable seeing him that way. I'm like, I'm sorry, but no. And I felt Loki has backed off. And Loki's been backed off for a week or so, and sometimes he does this. You can feel he's still present, but he's backed off to see what decision I make. And I I know he's not happy that I didn't choose his brother over Dionysus. It wasn't so much I had to choose one or the other, but I could definitely tell that it's not like they hate each other, but they're both highly territorial gods. They're both very ecstatic gods. But Dionysus is the fun one. Let's admit it. Dionysus is the fun one. He does not have anything to worry about other than, you know, being the god of the theater and all these other duties he has. But he's not into a lot of the stuff that Odin is into that doesn't interest me. So it makes sense. And I even asked, guys, I even asked, I said, who is coming forward? Just so you guys know, I have been working on my runes. I've been working my little tuckus off and watching videos and everything. I said, please tell me who's coming forward because I feel like I'm going to snap in half because first it feels like one, then it feels like the other. So, okay, now it hit itself. Here we go. Here we go. That is the card I got. That is Dionysus. I know Odin was trying to be like, oh, that's Odin. No, that's... Dionysus. That's, you know, the cattle, the bull, the horned god. And it felt like, at first, it felt like Odin was trying to do this very sad impression of a horned god. And I'm like, there's there's only one bull that I know of, and it's Dionysus. 
So it's definitely Dionysus coming for it. And that explains why I kept getting all these Freya and Freya cards in this deck. And yet I'd go to work with them and they'd seem like they they didn't hate me, but they really didn't care about me either. It was, I hate to say that about our gods, but it was like, and I kept trying to work with Boulder and he was supposed to be my patron and it clearly wasn't working out. So I think it's going to be the bull. It's going to be the big pro bull. And he's coming in and, you know, I think that was him disguising himself for a while as Odin, perhaps. Because, you know, Dionysus can be hyper-masculine and it can catch you off guard because everybody thinks he's this effeminate little poof. And then all of a sudden he's hyper-masculine and you don't know how to react to it. But remember, he carries around that stuff for a reason. He's a very fertile god. And I have Odin. Odin was put up top on where Dionysus should rightfully be. But I had put Odin up on top because we were trying very hard to work together. And... It's just kind of clear that we don't belong together, and I keep doing this. I keep trying to work with him, and we're clearly not suited to, together, to each other, because we're not happy with each other. Where, if I'm working with Dionysus, we're very happy. I think one of my greatest fears of working with Dionysus is that I'll get so indulgent that I'll just stop doing anything at all. But I think I have to get over that, and so we have some issues to work through that I have to trust in his power to take care of me and to propel me forward. He's a god of the theater and there has to be constant work at the theater or nothing gets done. And I just have to trust him through this process. I think maybe I had all this trouble because the only god I could conceive of to be a strong leader and protector would be Odin. I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell me your thoughts below, but it just doesn't feel like we'll be a good fit. I'm not comfortable with him, and I usually don't bring up gay stuff, surprisingly, even though I played the transgender game last night. But as a gay person, I really, at the end of the day, I do not feel comfortable with Odin, but I feel comfortable with Dionysus. I feel at home with Dionysus. I feel safe and accepted. More so with the Greek gods, because of course they were pro-homosexual. No matter what people try to write, rewrite history as, they all have plenty of male and female and indeterminate lovers. So I feel a lot more at home there than I do with Odin and heterosexual up the wazoo company. So, <laughs> and I'm not trying to make you guys uncomfortable if you're straight, but it's a thing as a gay person that if the whole history is we, these were homophobic people. I don't want to work with that. Why would I want to work with that? I think it's why I never work with my ancestors too much. My mom is understanding and loves me, but other than that, it's like, well, if you were a bunch of homophobic twats, I don't want to work with you. I'm going to go over here and work with this god, because this god definitely loves the gay community. God, he is a gay community all by himself. <laughs> So I hope it doesn't disappoint anyone, but I think maybe too it was like some kind of like pressure of I run a Lokian channel, so I think maybe in my head I had that I had to work with Odin, and you don't. Sometimes you just don't fit with a god. Loki's known to be very sympathetic to the gay community. Odin, I don't know what Odin's problem is, but I kind of wish he'd stop coming around, but um <laughs> And I don't mean to be disrespectful of the All-Father. It's just we don't work. And you know when you're happy or unhappy with a god. So go ahead. Feel free to tell me your thoughts below. If you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.